What's up guys? Welcome to Ty's Crypto Help. Uh, in this video, we're talking about Bitcoin. Today, it reached an all-time high. Uh, unfortunately, I have no Bitcoin. Actually, I have I looked it up because I, I had some in like a Bitrex account and it was point zero zero zero. I think it was like seven zeros and then a one. And I was like, I wonder how much this is worth just because the prices went up. It wasn't even a penny. So a fraction of a penny. Good job, Ty. Uh, Bitcoin went up. Ethereum's up. Uh, pretty much like if you look, the whole market is pretty much up all around right now, uh, which is kind of weird. Well, I guess it is kind of coming toward the end of the weekend. But I feel like usually early on in the weekend, it kind of like drops down a little bit. Uh, at least that's what I've noticed. But uh, yeah, so the, the price is as high as it's been right now. Uh, you can see here, by the way, if you're wondering what site I use, uh, this is coinmarketcap.com. Uh, this is where I usually look at the prices and stuff like that on my computer. I use other apps stuff on my phone. But uh, yeah, we got Bitcoin right here. I'll go ahead and pull it up, uh, refresh it here. Let's see, three thousand two hundred and fifteen dollars and sixty-three cents right now uh, as the price of Bitcoin. Again, an all-time high. Even over three thousand would have been an all-time high for Bitcoin. Uh, look at this. Look at this chart. How awesome would it have been to have bought in like down or not even down here, but like because this is showing the price at a hundred. It was like fractions of a penny uh, at one point. How amazing would it have been? to buy or even any time like around here because uh, even in the last like I feel like a week ago uh, which we'll look let's see seven days ago we'll look at the seven day chart uh, just a week ago around this time it was twenty six hundred dollars so it's went up to let's see the peak here let's see if we can find the highest it went up to looks like two I didn't actually catch the exact peak but it looks like uh, three thousand two hundred and eighty nine bucks uh, which is crazy like that's a huge increase uh, from just a week ago so if anybody has Bitcoin you might want to I'm not saying cash cash it out because it's you don't want to like lose all your Bitcoin or whatever but it it's up right now and if you look like look at this it got pumped so hard for Bitcoin to go from 2800 almost 2900 to over 3000 up to 3200 like that is a huge bump up like some people put a lot of money in all of a sudden and here's an interesting thing too uh bitcoin cash if you guys have been following the bitcoin fork uh i'm not getting into detail with that but bitcoin tried to fork off into a new coin uh, called bitcoin cash and it's kind of funny let's take a look at this uh, bitcoin cash which it's it's basically like a lot of people that have power in bitcoin because they're big miners and just have a lot of bitcoin uh which they do somewhat have a say so because they own a lot of it but not really, but anyway, they tried to fork off, at least that's my opinion, <laughs> they tried to fork off uh, and make their new coin, which is supposed to be better than Bitcoin, called Bitcoin Cash. Uh, and if you had Bitcoin, like a big fraction of it got like split into Bitcoin Cash when the, the fork happened or whatever. Uh, and it's kind of funny, because look at the charts on this. So we got it all time. It started out, uh, I think actually when it was before it hit the market, uh, maybe I'm wrong about this. Somebody can leave a comment, but I heard it was at like 800 bucks. Uh, and look at this, 556. It looks like it hit the market at, uh, or 555, somewhere around that. And then boom, 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 down, 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 down. There's a, little, a few spikes up here and there, but pretty much in downward trend. And then at this point, it just got like pumped and spiked, and then it went right back down immediately. Uh, within, let's see, within the same day, August 2nd. Uh, yeah, August 2nd, it went down, like, up and down uh, that much to 600 and, wait, did it hit 700? Yeah, 727 uh, Bitcoin Cash hit. And again, I think, I, like I said, I think back over here, like, before it's showing, it was at 800 bucks. Uh, and then it dropped down to 310. Uh, and I'm, I'm not, like, super scrolling in on this. For some reason, like, when you type in the dates over here, it, like, doesn't ever work for me. I don't know why. Uh, I can like do a little drag thing down here, but that's that's also annoying. But anyway, I was just saying because I'm not like getting the exact numbers, like zooming in close on here. But now the reason I looked at this because look at this, 211 bucks. I feel like everybody took all of their Bitcoin cash and put it back into Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is just surging because of that right now. Plus a lot of pumping anyway. Like I showed you. Like look at this. Let's look at. Uh, so you can't see three days. Maybe I'll try to drag this a little bit. Wait, I drag it bigger, I think. We're gonna look smaller. We're gonna look at this big pump that happened to the Bitcoin. There it is. So look at that. It went it just went straight up. Uh, and then it's still going up and up and up from here. So probably 
that was a big, a, not probably even just a big, that was probably multiple wells that all decided to do it uh, or trade it or just everybody. Maybe some, I may I'm missing some news and like some exchange. Like, I, I think like a lot of exchanges, you couldn't really cash out your Bitcoin cash. So maybe this was the point where everybody is able to cash it out now. Uh, honestly, like I said, I don't have any Bitcoin, so I didn't have any Bitcoin cash, so I wasn't really worrying about it. Uh, so I didn't look into it too much about how you sell it or anything, uh, just because I kind of felt like it was going to do this. I wasn't planning on buying any Bitcoin cash because, uh, not not this, but Bitcoin cash. I wasn't planning on buying this because I felt like it was going to be a downward trend uh, and everything would just kind of go back into Bitcoin. Uh, and looks like that's kind of what's happening. Plus, they're like the mining is not like 100%, like it's not bl mining blocks correctly or like quick enough or, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I didn't have a lot of faith in Bitcoin Cash from the beginning. Uh, anyway, so Bitcoin's up. Uh, Ethereum is also up. So here is, I'm gonna give it a refresh. Uh, here is the price for Ethereum, $259. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good increase right there uh, from just what it was a little bit ago. So let's look at the seven day chart. Uh, yeah, Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, Ethereum was at a dollar, $196, $194, uh, somewhere around there. And now it went up to 265. So I feel like along with the uh, Bitcoin pump, Ethereum, it doesn't actually really, I mean, it, it may have got pumped a little bit here and there, but it kind of just looks like because the market's up, Ethereum's up. Uh, and I do hold on to a little bit of Ethereum right now, uh, a little bit over one Ethereum I think I have. Uh, almost 1.1 and funny story I sold a PlayStation uh, and when I sold it it was at like I think 196 uh, for Ethereum that was the price for it and it's look it's went up since then I literally sold it at where is it at 196 somewhere around here was it that long ago it, yeah but anyway it was 196 and then since then it's went up like that and I kind of want to I cash Ethereum out because I feel like it's probably going to go back down a little bit. You can already see it's like dropped down a little bit from that, but still, it's up to 256. So uh, I made at least an extra like 60 bucks for sure uh, if I cash it out now. I need to like maybe do any of you guys have recommendations of a good coin I could put it in for the time being uh, that's going to be really stable? Because uh, I mean, I'm going to look in that too, but yeah, I want to get a coin that's really stable I can put it in for just a little bit until I like I think Ethereum is going to drop back down and then maybe I'll put it back in or maybe uh, I'm going to put while I'm like at this point I might put it into some other sites and stuff like that uh, that I'm going to try out with Bitcoin uh, and Ethereum and just crypto in general there's a lot of sites that I want to check out um, play around with and try to make money on that's that's pretty much my goal with this channel is to, to try to make money or to watch these charts and hopefully help you guys along too uh, along the way and by the way this is not a financial advice I know I was supposed to say that earlier but uh, here's my new, by the way, this is completely random, but here is my new uh, cryptocurrency Facebook page I just set up for Ty's Crypto Help. Uh, you go like it, uh, join the group. I'll actually probably put a link to the group and uh, the Facebook page down in the description. Uh, so go join that if you care. It, actually, only join it if you're going to actually like follow the group and you want to and you want to learn about Bitcoin and crypto and stuff like that. Uh, I don't want a bunch of people joining if they're not actually, like they don't care about it. Uh, and maybe if I see people not active, I might like remove people. I wanted to be active. Same thing with this YouTube channel. If you're not going to watch the videos, I, I don't want you to subscribe. Just watch a video. Don't subscribe. Like I want active subscribers. Actually, if you guys want to, because uh, I plan on doing some live streams, uh, turn on your post notifications on my YouTube channel right here, uh, and it'll let you know when I go live. So that way, like you won't miss like as soon as I go live. Because I want to do a lot of these videos live. Uh, so make sure you subscribe. If you're gonna watch the videos, don't subscribe if you're not. I don't want unactive subscribers. And uh, don't get into Bitcoin right now. That's my suggestion, uh, right at the moment. Just because, like I said, it got pumped. Uh, maybe it stays at that price, who knows? Uh, don't, again, this is not financial advice. You shouldn't listen to everything that I'm saying, but uh, don't, don't listen to anything I'm saying. I'm literally just giving my thoughts on it. And honestly, me and I feel like everybody else really knows nothing. You don't know whether the stock's going to go left, right, sideways, up, down. Who knows what movie that's from. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, Ty's Crypto Help out. Another video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Peace. Good luck on the tradings and making money.